Hands tied by a federal law, one East Tennessee school district is now cutting hours and cutting health benefits for some employees. Oneida school leaders say it was either that or cut positions when the Affordable Care Act goes into effect this fall. 10 News reporter Jennifer Meckles joins us now. Jennifer, they're calling it an unwilling compromise. Absolutely. Well, the law requires employers with more than 50 employees to offer every worker health insurance. We've already seen some businesses faced with those federal law's requirements choose to cut back some people's hours. Well, Oneida school district leaders say for them it was the lesser of the evils. Sacrifice is not an unfamiliar word in this school district. And I've cut and cut and cut. William Terry sees it from his job in maintenance. And I cut like 14 things off that I don't even order anymore for, for cleaning, so. But the district's latest cuts hit him. Yeah, we'll still get the same amount of salary, but our insurance will be cut in July, or not July, but uh, January. We've been checking around, and, and our insurance is going to cost us right close to $1,000 a month, so. This letter details how 18 full-time positions will be reduced to part-time. Now, their salaries are going to stay the same. Nothing changes there, but their hours cut down to just 29 a week. They will also, as of January 1st, 2014, lose their health insurance through the school district. And we explored every option we could. We, we took our budget apart, and we have a very small budget. A budget, says Director of Schools Ann Sexton, that can't handle the Affordable Care Act's requirements. She says it would cost the school about $300,000. While she could have cut things like buses, athletics, or even positions. We did not want to do that. We wanted to make it as painless as we could. The district compromised instead on hours and insurance. The change will hurt maintenance, cafeteria, transportation, and TA positions. Sexton hopes they don't look for work elsewhere. I hope they don't, but I would understand if they did. It'll be hard to find another job. Now in his 60s, Terry may just stick it out. You know, I, this worst comes to worst, I can retire. He just hopes this cut will be the last. I don't know, you know. Oneida Special Schools is a small district gets funding from the state based on the number of students. Director Sexton says the district is determined to help employees find new insurance carriers. She told me she will be researching the exchanges offered by the new law. Guys, such hard decisions to make. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, thank you.